Hey, what's up, y'all? It's the Mother's House Podcast, and I am Deshaun. My name is Corey. Peace, peace. What's going on, family? What's up with my cousin Zoe? Uh, everything's great. How's everything with you? I can't complain. I can't complain. That's what's... We got some listeners. We got some listeners tonight. Yeah, we do. We got, we got BP news. A BP Black update. Panther. And by BP, we mean Black Panther. Black Panther. So, Black Panther premiere. Now that I have your attention. So, Black Panther. Um, that was a terrible accent, Corey. Jeez. Yeah, it was pretty horrible. <laughs> but anyway, um, so, um, the premiere was last night. Uh-huh. And a lot of people are giving great reviews on it. The premiere um, black carpet, the purple carpet to be exact. It's supposed to be the red carpet, but they turned the carpet into purple. Well, like Prince. Yeah. They giving Prince a shout out on that one. The purple one. But, um, so they, everybody showed up from, you know, your favorite artists to your favorite actors. Everybody was there. Anybody that was black and if the industry was there in African garb, it looked beautiful, it looked amazing. It, it, it was it was a dope, dope uh, little premiere. Uh, it looked like it would have been a lot of fun if we were there. You're right, why didn't you invite us? Uh, I guess, because we are the official Black Panther podcast. And I thought we were the official uh, of Atlanta. We're Jeez. both. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I'm just I'm just a black man just living in this world just trying to make things happen so everybody had on the African shit and I'm not am I supposed to wear African stuff when I go to um no you ain't got to but then again I think I read somewhere that is a law what uh you're supposed to wear African garb to the Black Panther premiere mm. and you are supposed to wear not wear but you are not and I do repeat, do not bootleg it. Do not what? Watch it on bootleg. Why not? Well, one, it's illegal. Two, it's for the culture. And three, it's supposed to be very empowering for me, so, for black people. So if you don't care about black people, you won't watch it on. If you care about black people, you won't watch it on bootleg. So, so, some, it, some Twitter heads in there, so. Right. But, um, anyway. We're not watching on Bootleg, just let y'all know. I might. Don't let me find it. Don't let me find it. Don't let me find it. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. See, Sean don't care about y'all black folks, I'm telling Don't let me find it on Bootleg. Shit. Don't let me find it before it, especially if I find it before it come out. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're going to have a little spoiler review before it even come out. I'm gonna just, We're not going to do that either. I'm going to load the whole thing on YouTube. You <laughs> was terrible. But anyway, so um, have you got a chance to look at some of the images from the premiere night? Have you got a chance to listen to some of the people' reactions to it? I saw the images. I saw what they had on. Everyone looked very nice. I didn't see any reactions. What, what were they talking about? Well, I'm about to go to to some of them. Go through some of them. Um, a lot of people gave it brave reviews, even from Jill Scott to Issa Rae. You know, just about everybody that was that had the chance to see it say it's an amazing movie. You would not, you would not be disappointed. From every level, everybody is recognized. You know what I'm saying? From everyone, every, especially if you're black, you definitely recognize it. Even white people, you recognize. It. But <laughs> they say it's very, it's black. It's black and it's black, black. It's like super black. Um, but it's like it's not the character. They say the movie. It's not a, a um, you know, like Blank Man and, and 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 you know the Meteor Man. You know how those movies came out as black superheroes, but they were still kind of like in a joking manner. You right. They were like, nah, this is like for real. It's like it's a real black hero. It's a. Hero. It's not like a comedy. No, it's, it, it had comedic points, and then everybody's gives raving reviews on Letitia Wright, the young lady who plays Shuri. Um, uh-huh. She also is in Black Mirror. I need to watch Black Mirror. Uh-huh. I think I'm gonna try to watch Black Mirror this weekend. But um, 
<clears throat> yeah, a lot of people is giving a lot of great reviews on, on the Black Panther. Um, Jill Scott says, uh, not Jill Scott, Asa Ray says, Black Panther was beautiful in every way imaginable. Everybody could get it. Everybody could get it. Also, Ryan motherfucking Cooler. Uh, who else says something? A lot of people said stuff. Um, it's, everybody's so excited for this movie. Uh, it, it, it's 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 a, an excitement to showcase that you know because we for the longest since you know since Hollywood been you know inception the portrayal of Africa has always been a destitute. Um, it's been a bad portrayal, basically. The extremely bad portrayal of Africa. You know what I mean? And now that we're actually portraying not just Africa but black people melanated people in a light of greatness and even though it's a fictional place and even though it's created by Marvel yes we get the, we get the, the criticism of that right even though it's that you know what I mean it still puts in the envelope of representation proper representation of black proper representation of black intelligence black um, honor black leadership black pride you know what I'm saying um and not saying no other movies haven't done that in the past, but it's haven't been on this scale. And I think, you know, from looking at it, I'm excited to see the movie, me personally. You know what I mean? I'm actually really excited. Probably too excited to some people, but, you know, how do you feel, Deshaun? I mean, I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, um, I think it'll be a very good film. And... I'm honestly not that excited because I just don't get excited for movies no more. But um, the more that people talk about it, the more excited I get. I'll say that. I'm just not into movies. I'm not a movie guy. I don't know. I haven't been excited to see a movie in a long time. He's not excited to see anything. Not a movie, not a music, not nothing. I am excited for stuff. I can't wait. I can't wait until the first so I can start back eating meat. Oh shit. I already started planning what I'm gonna eat. See, see, Ooh, see, 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 that that narcissistic mentality these millennials have. I just know these kids get on you know, my nerves. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> but no, uh, for real though. Um, I, 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 all right. See, for instance, um, there's um, this movie doesn't live up to the hype. You think people that big this could be on the cups of living up like people over hyping the movie? Um, it's like you haven't heard anything bad. But, um... Not, not, I, not since last night. Nah, you haven't heard anything. I feel, like, I feel like it should be really good. Like, they have a, a lot of really good actors. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure the special effects are going to be done very well. Uh, you know... I feel like they put too much into it for it to not be good. I think Ryan Coogler with his style of directing. The Creed was good. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, even Fruitvale Station. You ever seen Fruitvale Station? Fruitvale Station was good, too. You know, Ryan Creed, uh, Ryan Coogler, when he came into the scene, you know, in his background, you know, it, 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 he was he's able to tell a real authentic story and not just focus on the story, but focus on character building. You know what I'm saying? And when you introducing a new character to people, a lot of people don't know a lot about black people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know the history of Wakanda. A lot of people don't know nothing about this this movie, really, other than, you know, what they saw. Some people just got introduced to Black Panther through Civil War. You know what I'm saying? Through the last Marvel movie. But Ryan Coogler, director, and storytelling, and, and, and vision, you know what I'm saying? I think he's he probably done a amazing job flushing out these characters, flushing out these developments, flushing out these people and the culture and the history. And he has a deep-seated, um, not necessarily conviction, but a deep-seated um, inspiration in telling compelling stories. And also, I, 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 like I told you, you asked me the other day, Corey, what you want to do, right? And I want to do stories. I want to write stories. I want to 
you know, if I can act, cool, that's fine. You want to direct too? I want to direct. I want. I want to be involved, in making something so fucking dope that is inspiring to black people. And I think this movie is something like this movie, or something like Atlanta, something like Insecure, something that really means something for black folks, and that get them inspired and get them, you know, um, feeling a uh, sense of not only hope but also a sense of. Of, of inspiration for their creative juices. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like every person that said, like I think um, Issa Rae said it because she done a, she she been going on a campaign about it for <laughs> 24 minutes all day long, pretty much. And she was like saying how you know she was surrounded with a whole so much, all these you know great black actors and actresses and black creatives. And after seeing that movie, they just can't stop talking about how great it is and how they so inspire and want to do amazing things you know what i'm saying after seeing this movie and seeing what it did so that's I, that's very inspiring yeah. you know i am excited to see the impact of it yeah yeah because i think i think it'll be a nice a nice look for us and just to have a good movie to look forward to and to reflect on and to you know kind of be inspired from instead of some sad movie uh all the other kind of movies. We ain't got no movie like this. We don't. There's never been a movie like this. Ever. I don't want to, I want to say ever. There's never been a movie made or put this, put like this. Never been a, a story, an African story being told on this magnitude or in this way. You know what I mean? On a big screen. And then, it's like, you know, I know, and also Ryan Coogler is supposed to be doing, trying to do Man So Him and well, Michael B. Jordan trying to do, pull up the Manson Russo movies later on some down the line like I'm looking forward to seeing that coming to screen like it's so much stories in, in history and you, can, you won't even have to touch on just you know Africa, continent of Africa we can talk about great things here in America too you know we can touch all over the diaspora and the fact that this movie gives you that representation of the diaspora I heard, I heard one it's not necessarily a review, but they're kind of breaking down how, and I kind of see it, I can kind of see it, um, how this movie could be like, you know, you know, the polar opposites of Africa, the African American, the Western side mentality to the African side of mentality, and how they either come to clash or come together. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I'm interested in seeing that. I'm interested in seeing all the actors and actresses shine uh, it's showing a lot of black women they said the black women in this movie sh- like excel they said nobody in this movie seemed weak you know there's no weak link in this movie um i'm just excited to see this movie man uh, well, yeah, i'm excited too see i told you we ain't gonna have that we, we, we before we even started this podcast i asked sean you want to talk yeah, I'm gonna talk. I got. I can talk. I talked on the last one. Da, 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 da. He ain't saying nothing now. Look at him. I mean, I, what you want me to say? I'm excited to see the movie. Like I said, I'm excited. Yay! Can't wait. Black Panther 2018. Here we go. Boom. Oh boy, I told you. I tell you. I tell you. But yo, um, I don't think we got even more to give into it. I can't really get into a real conversation with my cousin about. I mean, you can't say what you want to say. I'm, I already went down my whole spiel. I mean, um, what, what things, okay, what things, as far as, like, if there was a movie, right? No. Say there is a movie that, like, you you will be ecstatic to see. Is there any, any type of movie in your head? Because, like you said, you're not really into movies, so. But is there a long. movie or, 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 or anything that will give you that? Oh man, I, I'm looking forward to seeing that. That look, it's gonna be dope. It's gonna inspire me. It's gonna make me want to do some amazing things too. I don't know. Where have I been lately? I, I, I don't know. I've just been in a space where I don't really care to see stuff. But um, you know, I'm all for things doing well though. So I do hope Black Panther do well. And um, you know, it's cool. Hello, hello. Are you still there? <laughs> <I'm still> there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's why I don't ever want to listen to you. Play, they don't excite me for anything. Like, how do you not be excited for anything? Well, um, uh, I, I think that, um, it's like for me, man, I just want to be a part of something dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope Mother's House podcast is something dope. 
like what we're doing here and what we're building and I still feel like we're building something dope here you know what I'm Most saying definitely. Our podcast. you know what I'm saying hopefully it's inspiring hopefully we be, once we get more uh more time to put into our podcast put more time into our content building we can do more dope shit you know what I'm saying I will say, um, I'm, I'm excited to see how Wakanda's gonna look mm, I am too I'm excited to see how Wakanda's gonna look I'm, I'm, I'm just excited for it I'm excited to see you know the, uh, the, the connection between the comics and how it's related I, I'm excited cause I, 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 I read Black Panther for a long time um even when we was kids, but more so now that I'm older, I've been reading a lot of it lately. Um, also, but you know, is it going to change the world though? It is might it change the world though. You it know might. I, mean? I, 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 I was saying it might. I mean, it, it's not going to. It, it's going to change the creative energy for black people and show that black people can pull off dope ass projects you know it'll prove to Hollywood that you know we don't have to prove to Hollywood but this movie would be like look I can't stand on y'all square talking about black movies doesn't sell so these projects won't get fly you know what I'm saying like this this movie is going to be one of those type of movies um, they're going to shift the, the, the filmmaking industry to a whole other level you know and also you've seen it in the music and they said this is another thing people were saying they saying the music the soundtrack to this Mm-hmm. It's so amazing. I, I'm looking forward to hearing the soundtrack. I'm excited about the soundtrack too. <laughs> and I'm excited to see what Kendrick and TDE and them did with the soundtrack. So everybody's saying, like, they, I'm hearing nothing but red views about this movie. Um, while looking at the black carpet, I'm looking at you know, the, the purple carpet. I'm seeing a whole bunch of beautiful, like, everybody looks great, you know, from Angela Bassett to Lupita Nyongo. You know, all the brothers, all the, everybody look good. You know what I mean? It's a very inspiring and very uh, empowering thing to see. And I think young black boys and girls should have an opportunity to see it. You know, yeah, every child, actually, every child should have an opportunity to be able to see this movie. They will, February 16th, you know? Right, um, right, right. You know, and we definitely going to see it. We definitely going to give our, you know, two cents, you know, let y'all know how we feel about the movie. Um, you know, this, this whole thing rolls through Wakanda. I'm also looking forward to KTR's degree breakdown of the movie. You know, he, he go deep in it. Right. You know, you know, uh, they, they supposed to be doing one for Black Mirror. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, but I gotta watch Black Mirror before I saw it see that. But, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm just excited for the movie, man. Um, and that's, that's all I have to say. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna try to draw this out because Sean ain't gonna talk too much on it. So y'all make sure y'all tell us about Black Panther and that you're excited and tell us what you're gonna wear. Are you gonna wear something crazy? Are you gonna wear not that um African attire is crazy, but are you gonna wear I'm joking? He already got his old spill, you know. He ain't here for it, but yeah, anti it either, so. But um, if you're gonna wear, you know, something cool or something normal, or you know, are y'all gonna have like Black Panther parties of some sort, or it's gonna be a whole theme? I'm gonna tell you right now what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna tell you what your brothers and doing doing like Devin and Marty and Craig and the whole y'all y'all whole family is supposed to have go to a screening. All of them is gonna be be my girl. Her mother, her brother, her nephew, my mom, my sister, my nephew, and we all go to a screening. I think everybody's like grouping together going to see this. It's like we're going to try to make it an experience. You know what I'm saying? Something that we all can take home with us. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, when we, when, when, um, Coming to America came out, you know, they said it was a big spectacle. I think Tico told me that. He said, you know, a lot of people went. They, when they went out, there was a lot of people went to go see that movie because they never seen black royalty on you know, that. It's going to be a screen like that, you know. All um, right, it's something empowering. And they, how many times you seen black uh, um, um, come to America? Like I can't count a million. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? So uh, this movie might be just like that. It will have that kind of wave. It seemed like it's on that same kind of energy. Even though I wasn't living back then, 
um, or too young for back then. But you know, I feel like this this will give you that you know people gonna keep watching this movie. I got a feeling, you know, this is going to be one of the movies of the, it's going to set records on the box office. It's already set it's already, records. Yeah, it's already setting records, you know. It's, you know, it's, 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 it's going to be dope. And I'm happy for, you know, Ryan Coogler and all the actors and actresses and cast writers and everybody that's involved with this project. You know, but yeah, let us know. Let us know how y'all feel. What y'all wearing? What y'all doing? You know, and uh, we'll call it y'all next time. Peace out. Peace. So Black Panther just dropped the world premiere, and it's everything that everyone hoped for. A lot of raving reviews from everybody, from your Easter Ray, the Janelle Monet's. You know, every single person have a great idea of this movie saying that it's amazing it's going to change the game it's changing the narrative of africa african americans african people africans in the diaspora it's shifting the whole narrative and bringing it back home to the truth and even though it's a fictional place you know it's wakanda but it's showing the portrayal of black people not in a destitute position not in a place of slavery where a lot of movies in Hollywood since its inception portray us as slaves. This move this will show us in a light of royalty, a light of intelligence, a light of creatives, light of innovators. You know what I'm saying? You, we 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 need this kind of movie to push the culture forward, you know? And I'm looking forward to it. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section. And ignore everything Deshaun is talking. You know, he's just a hater. But I love him, though. Peace. I will not raise my daughter differently than my mother raised me. The rearing I got from my mother, words cannot express. I could live in any time. I could live in any country. I could live on any planet, and I would be fine. What was the key? The key. What did your mother know? <laughs> what truth was coming through your mother that's mm. going to come through you to your daughter? My mother gave us aphorisms to learn as children and the one that I there are two that stand out foremost in my mind one is the inner reality creates the outer form I learned this when I was in grade school I was very young and the other is the universe bears no ill to me I bear no ill to